Okay, so this is melanoma in situ, and we're gonna close it with a bilobe flap. Uh, we've resected the lesion. We have about a one centimeter margin, and the geometry of a bilobe flap is the first flap is 75% of the width of your defect, the second flap being 50% the width of the first flap, and then we'll rotate this 90 degrees. And it's a, a full thickness flap um, down to a sub Q. Okay, so the flap's been developed, and the way this rotates is the first thing you close is this apice to this apice, so here to here. So we'll just rotate that over. And that's going to close first, and then second will be this apice to this apice, and then you can close everything else um, in a Christmas tree fashion. Okay, so we've closed our defect with our little flap, and you can see we're left with a little bit of a dog ear right here. So the way to handle this is a thing called a Burroughs triangle. This is the line of incision right here, this single prong skin hook is showing you. And what you want to do is come off that line at a 45 degree angle. You can go almost either side, but you want to try to avoid coming into the base of the flap. So we're going to cut it on the side away from the base. So with a single prong skin hook, I'm going to grab the base and pull it over and then make an incision about 45 degrees off of the main incision line. And then we'll pull that flap over, cut it again, and it'll be the shape of a triangle. And that's called a Burroughs triangle. So we've made our cut here. And now we can pull this dog gear over and you lay it over that line and then cut right along there and you can see that's going to be a triangle. Okay, the dog gear has been cut out and um, we're going to see if this is done. We'll ask the smiley face. Smiley face says yes, we are done. Okay, just one more example of a bilobe flap. This is for a large Barucoid lesion. We ellipse out the uh, lesion underneath the web space and then do the bilobe and then the final follow-up.